Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new YouTube video where today we're actually on my desktop as you can see. We're not doing a usual video because today I'm going to be teaching you how you can get away with streaming on a bad internet connection. Now I've seen a lot of people complain, even some of my friends in Discord, that they really want to stream but they can't because their upload speed is literally 0.7 or something like that. I'm going to be teaching you how you can get the best settings for your Streamlabs or Streamlabs OBS, either one and optimize your stream so it's both watchable and it runs perfectly. So, first off what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to run a speed test. Now as you can see my internet's not good, <laughs> it's literally McDonald's internet. The download's alright, I'll say that, but the upload's awful and that's why I'm doing this video tutorial because I struggled a lot getting the perfect settings. Now OBS does do its own scan to give you perfect settings but there are way more settings that you can modify, not just the bitrate. Uh, ignore the download speed, that's not actually needed for now. We're just trying to get the upload speed. So if we give it a second, we're actually getting 10 ping, this is rare. Okay, so as you'll see here, you get your peak, which I think you saw it for a glimpse there. That was 1.18 or something like that. So we're gonna go with 1.1 for now. It may go down because yeah, it's getting used to the scan, but that doesn't matter. We need to get our 1.1 right here. Let's just remember that was 1.1 on that lump. Close out of this. Now we're gonna go into OBS or Streamlabs OBS settings. So on Streamlabs OBS, it's down here, but on uh, normal OBS, you click on file and then settings. So you're gonna go into your settings uh, menu. And then first off, we're gonna change the stream output settings. So you don't go to stream, you go to output, just like that. You guys will see this, it will have different blocks. You're gonna have to change this to advanced so you can you know customize everything perfectly so the first thing we're going to customize is the encoder so usually the encoder can be more beneficial when it's on software obviously it's not the best because it does use more cpu now we're going to go down to our bit rate so this is the important part this is like the main part but there are obviously other settings that you can customize on your bit rate you're going to need to get the score you got, which I got 1.1, and times it by 1000, and this is going to be your bit rate, um, 1100. So in here, we would put 1100, but just to be safe, I go about 110 or 150 down, 990. That would be a good bit rate for a 1.1 upload speed, but I'm just going to keep mine at 950 because I know that works for me. You're going to see a tick box for use custom buffer size. Now you're going to tick this, and for my internet, you can probably just judge what yours should be. But for mine, I say 900. So take your bit rate and then just go a bit lower than your bit rate. Uh, now CPU, because we've turned our encoder to software, it is going to use CPU. So this is totally your, your options. I'd recommend if you are using software, you'd go one lower than usual. I usually, usually use um, CPU usage super fast, but because I'm using software, I use very fast, which is one lower. More settings we're going to change, we're going to hop into video next. So your base canvas resolution is the resolution of your monitor. I'm using 1920 by 1080, even though my monitor isn't 1920 by 1080, it just works better on YouTube. So pretend my monitor is 1920 by 1080, I would select that, that's my actual monitor size. But there we go, we're going to go with 1920. Uh, and now the output is the resolution that will be actually displayed onto YouTube. So what you're going to want to select for that is for my internet, obviously I'm doing the same thing here. Um, I'm selecting here. If your internet is, I'd say below 1.0 megabits per second upload, I would go for somewhere around, what would I say? I'd say here or here. Uh, downscale filter. So if your inter internet is really trash, I'd say below 0 0.5 upload, um, I would go with fastest, but because my internet can handle it just about, I'd g I go with BU cubic, I don't know how to say that, sharpen scaling 16 samples, and if your internet's above, I'd say 2, then you could go with that, but I just stick in the middle. Uh, common FPS values. You want to go with common and then 30 unless you really want a 60 um, FPS stream. However, that will um, take out of your bandwidth and I wouldn't recommend it. So for 1.1 1 megabits per second, go with 30. If you get 2 megabits per second, then you could upgrade to 60 and get the same results I get with 30. Now we're just going to go into advanced and stream delay. 
Now, stream delay doesn't affect the stream much, um, the stream quality much, but it does influence it quite a lot. So I don't have stream delay on because I don't mind sacrificing a bit of quality um, so I can chat to my viewers in real time. Again, if your internet is really bad, like half a megabit per second upload, do turn that on and go with around, I don't know, whatever suits you. you you'll have to test around with that because I don't use that per personally. Now, this last tip is optional. It doesn't improve the internet that much, but if you do have a really bad internet speed, this will influence it a bit. So uh, if you really do need that extra couple of 0.1s or 2s or 3s of um, megabit per second uploads, this trick will help you. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to the network and sharing center, which can be accessed, where is it? In settings, network and internet, and network and sharing center here uh, if you're on Windows 10. If you're on Windows 7, just go to control panel, network and internet and network and sharing center. So once you're on that, you're gonna ch click change adapter settings and then click on either e ethernet or um, Wi-Fi. It will, if you do use Wi-Fi on your computer rather than an actual wire, it will say Wi-Fi. So just click on that one. We're, we're gonna go on to properties here. And then when you're on it, you wanna go to, where is it? internet protocol version four. So you're gonna double click on this and then here it will say obtain DNS server automatically. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna click on this and then click prefer DNS server 1.1.1.1 and then here you're gonna do 1.0.0.1. Basically, um, I don't know too much how a DNS actually works if I'm honest. It does improve it for me. Um, if you want the full knowabouts of how DNS works before you change any of this, feel free to go down in the description. I've left a link to Linus Tech Tips video on it. He basically describes how a um, DNS server works, how it speeds up your internet, how it makes it safer. So once you've done that, you're just gonna click okay, okay, and then close. And you're just gonna back out of everything. Now this isn't gonna improve your internet loads of ice, as I said, it will improve it quite a bit if you have a bad internet. Um, but if your internet's really good, don't expect massive changes. So this is for that trick was for the people who do have really bad internet speed. Um, but hopefully I have helped you today. You will be a, on your way to being a professional streamer, I'm sure, very soon uh, with these settings. So if you did enjoy, please make sure you smash a like and you do subscribe. I don't usually do videos like this, but I would appreciate it if you did subscribe uh, because I do do loads of Minecraft videos and I'm more than happy to do more tutorials like this if you guys want it. So I'll see you guys soon. I hope you did enjoy. Goodbye.